Am I the a-hole for making my neighbor cry? So, I need you guys to tell me if I'm the asshole for making my neighbor cry or not. I'm gonna give you some context, don't worry, but I want your honest opinions, so let me know in the comments. Just for, like, context of the story, my daughter and my niece, um, my daughter is nine, my niece is eleven. They were outside in, like, my front yard and my backyard, you know, alternating between the two, playing outside, whatever. I'm inside with my two-year-old son, and I'm cleaning. And I'm sitting here cleaning on um, the living room floor, and all of a sudden I hear a knock on my door, right? So I look outside the window, and I see it's one of the um, women from my neighborhood, right? And I'm like, great, what my kid and my niece do, right? I'm thinking my daughter or my niece did something. So I open the door, and I'm like, you know, can I help you? Whatever. We'll call her Karen. You'll see why in a minute. She starts off by saying, Karen says, um, your daughter is exhibiting very dangerous behaviors and she's going to get herself hurt. So I said, okay, I'm sorry, what'd she do? Right? I apologized to her at first saying, thinking my daughter did something, you know, what did she do? What did you see her doing outside? Tell me, we can figure it out, right? So she says, there's this house right here. She points down the street to this house about, there's a house halfway down the street and then a house all the way at the end of the street on the corner, right? And uh, she says, there's little kids that live in both of these houses and um your daughter terrorizes them basically like my daughter's a bully okay and uh she's like oh your daughter just sits in their driveways and these kids are so scared that they can't even come outside and like it gets to the point where their parents have to take them away and like leave their own house okay then she says that the one on the corner, right, the uh, corner house, because there's one halfway down and one on the corner that she's talking about. And the one on the corner, she says that that's a, like a little seven-year-old kid and that his dad has came outside and asked my daughter specifically not to go down there anymore and not to play with his kid anymore, which I know is not the case, right? Because she's friends with this kid who lives halfway down our street and on the corner house. Like, she's friends with both of them. The kid who lives midway down the street just came over and knocked on my door yesterday and asked to play with her. So like, it's crazy. Okay, so as she's telling me all this, my daughter and my niece are walking up to our house, okay? And trying to see what's going on, what's, why is this lady here, what's up, right? And as she walks up, I said, Ariana, um, what is going on? You know, what is this lady talking about? This guy, did the gentleman down the street ask you not to play with his kids anymore, ask you to leave his kids alone. And she's like, no, what are you talking about? He's never said that. And she even turns to the lady and she's like, no, I, I think you might have the wrong person, but like, no, he's never said that, you know? And um, Karen, turns to my nine-year-old daughter, okay, and says, uh, no, you little liar. Don't even start lying now. Don't be a little liar. Just tell your mom the truth. Don't lie now that your mom's here. So I, of course, step in and say, um, excuse you, but my daughter's not a liar. And the child who you're talking about right there in the house midway down the street and the one on the corner is, they're both my daughter's friends. The one midway down the street is like her best friend. And he was just over here yesterday knocking on my door asking if she could play. So... Like, she doesn't bully them. I don't know what you're talking about. She doesn't terrorize them. She doesn't hang out in their driveway and, like, taunt them and scare them to come outside. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she says some, oh, well, that wasn't my perspective on the matter. That, that's not what I saw. That's not what I thought was going on. Okay, well, good thing you're not involved. I mean, like, who are you? You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, so then why don't you come down here and speak to me as an adult and ask me if this stuff is going on? Just tell me that my daughter is exhibiting dangerous behavior and she's going to get herself hurt. Like, is that like some sort of threat or something that I'm supposed to take from a nine-year-old? Like, I don't know what that, I don't know. Anyways, I'm like, if these parents had a problem, the parents would come down and say something to me. They know who I am. I talk to both the parents. You know what I'm saying? If my daughter was really bullying these kids, like their parents know who I am, they would say something. And I'm always outside with my children. My children aren't outside ever by themselves. Like I am very involved in what my children are doing outside. Like that's just not a thing. Like I know it's not a thing. You know what I mean? And then she's like, oh, well, yeah, that's not how I saw it. So um, I didn't mean to offend you, but um, I just wanted to let you know, I'm kind of concerned for her safety because there's like a bunch of guys that moved in down the street and now there's always just like grown men walking up and down the street. So I'm a little concerned for your daughter's safety. Okay, well, why didn't you start with that? And you know, that's what I told her. I'm like, why didn't you start with that? If you're really concerned about my daughter's safety, then you would have came down here and said, like, there's grown men roaming the neighborhood. You might want to keep an eye out for your daughter, just neighborhoods, like, we're looking out for each other type of thing. That would have been totally acceptable. But that's not what you did. And I'm saying all this to her. I'm like, you literally came down here and said, my daughter is in dangerous situations. She's going to get herself hurt. You called her a liar straight to her face. You said she's bullying and terrorizing the kids in the neighborhood. Like, this is crazy. You know what I mean? I'm like, if you're worried about her safety, then why don't you start with that? Like, what are you talking about? And then um, the girl's like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I wasn't trying to offend you. Da, 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 da. Like, 
Okay, but like, learn the fact, like, I don't understand why you came out here and like, attack my daughter for being a liar and like, came at me. Like, just, there was such a better way that she could handle this. I just feel like it was like, all fucking sideways from the get go, right? So then I turned to Ariana and I'm like, my my nine year old daughter, and I'm like, uh, you're not a liar. You don't terrorize the kids in this neighborhood because my daughter's standing right here. She hears all of this, everything the lady's saying to me. And I'm like, you're not a liar. You don't terrorize the kids in the neighborhood. Like, don't listen to anything that this woman is saying. Like, you're not wrong. She is. That's why she's apologizing. You know what I mean? And then uh, she's like, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just really concerned for your safety because um, there's like the grown men in the neighborhood. So I just wanted to let you know about that and whatever. And I was like, okay honestly like your energy was all off to begin with and like now you have me like real pissed off and like on 10 because like i'm ready to protect my daughter you're fucking calling her out like a liar straight to her face and shit like this lady had me all types of sideways and twisted right so i'm like i don't even have any more energy for this conversation like i'm sorry but like you started it off all fucking wrong like i can't even do this right now so like i will go talk to the new neighbors myself if i need to i'll keep an eye out for the grown men thanks for letting me know but like you should have handled this differently i'm sorry but you should have like this is ridiculous i'm like my daughter is nine years old she might look a hell of a lot older but she's not, she's nine years old. Like, don't come down here and gonna attack her. Like, just don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? And then I was like, I'm just, I don't have any more energy for this conversation. Like, I'm done. I, I can't talk to you anymore, sorry. Like, I'm just, it is what it is. So then I start to like shut my door and I tell the kids like, go play, like, you're fine. You know, just whatever. Like you tell this lady, like you need to leave. And uh, I go to start shutting my door. And then this girl, Karen, walks over to my daughter and my niece and she starts talking to them. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry for calling you a liar. Uh, I really didn't mean that. And I'm sorry for saying that you'd like terrorize the kids in the neighborhood. You don't do that. And she's like uh, trying to apologize to my daughter for calling her a liar, which I'm like glad that she uh, at least can apologize to her because like you fucking just straight up damn near attacked her. Like my daughter is ready to cry when this lady's coming at her. And then as she's like apologizing to my daughter and my niece, she like starts like crying and like causing like a scene in front of my house like hysterically crying and shit and i just like start open the door back up again and i'm like okay can you just go like i don't need this at my house like you are the one who came over here with this fucking energy okay my kids are outside playing i'm inside cleaning like you came over here trying to accuse my daughter of all types of shit that you don't even know is what's going on like can we just fucking stop like can this be done can you go home like i don't need this shit outside of my house i'm like you're a grown-ass woman you need to act like it and then i was like come on kids you can come inside for a minute like let's just like give her a minute like she get the fuck out of here right so then she leaves and I'm like watching her out the window because I had my window open because my kids were outside walking around the front yard. I'm always involved when they're outside. Either I'm out there with them or I have my big bay window open and I'm watching her remove. Like, anyways, so my window's open and I watch her walk away and she goes over to the house that is midway down the street, like the one that's middle, not the one on the corner, but the one that's middle way down the street, my daughter's best friend, and literally knocks on the door and gets his mother and is sitting there talking to her. I don't know what they're saying because they're outside, but I see Karen pointing to my house and then this little boy's mom is turning around and looking at my house, trying to see what she's talking about. So my guess is she went down there and asked this mom, oh, does, th does that little girl terrorize your son or bully your son or whatever the fuck? Because like my reasoning isn't good enough for her or something. I don't know. I have no clue, but it was literally the weirdest thing I've ever, ever experienced in my whole life. And now I'm sitting here thinking about it like, I mean, maybe I couldn't have got so mad because I was like really mad, but like you came over here and like attacked my daughter. You know what I mean? Like straight up called her liars, called her out her name because what? You're just like one of those like old ladies like sits inside your house and like watches the kids outside. Like whatever, do you, but don't just make accusations in your head and then just like think that's true and like put all this shit on my nine-year-old daughter and come over here with this fucking energy and accuse her of this. Like that was crazy to me. I feel like she could have handled it in such a better way. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts. Am I an asshole for making her cry? I didn't like call her names. I didn't like throw anything at her. I didn't cuss her out. Not one time. I didn't swear at her. Nothing. I just told her to check her fucking attitude before she comes over here at my, like, towards my house and confronting my nine year old daughter with that type of energy. Craziness, dude. Crazy. Anyways, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on, like, what you guys think. Am I the asshole in this situation? Was she totally in the wrong? I don't know. I'll meet you guys in the comments to read what you think. But for, like, at least the next couple weeks, I'm definitely going to be avoiding that house because, like, good goddamn.